This is a quick introduction to the new Home Access Center, also known as Hack. Hack does seem to work best in a Chrome browser, although other browsers may work. If you're having trouble logging into Hack and you're sure you're typing in the right username and password, paying attention to case-sensitive characters, try refreshing your history, clearing your cache, or restarting your browser and giving it another try. Type in the username and password paying attention to case-sensitive characters. Usually it's going to be the last name of the student, a period, the first initial of the first name, a period, and the first initial of the middle name with nothing after that. However, some students, if it's a common name, might have a one or a two after their middle initial. This forgot my username or password. Link doesn't work. If you do not remember your username or password, you need to go to that hack help link from the Frisco ISD page and email the email address that associates to your child's school to get a reminder. When you first log into Hack, it's going to take you to a calendar view. It's looking at the week and it will show you A day or B day. It's going to tell you the date. It's going to show you the, your child's schedule and it's going to show you any upcoming due dates or possibly if there have been any assignment grades put in, it's going to show you the grade that your child made on that assignment. It would also show you any absences. And this is the week view. It tells you week view. You can also go to the calendar view. Calendar view is going to let you look at a month at a time. So it's going to have the classes listed to the left and you're allowed to unselect all and just select a certain assignment. It shows you assignments coming up. It tells you if it's a daily grade, minor grade or major grade. You can also choose to filter by different assignments, events, and etc. And there is a day, a week, and a month view from this calendar screen. Following along the links at the top, you can go to attendance. Attendance is going to show you a snapshot of the month for your child and their attendance. Hovering over will show you exactly what's going on per period. And if you look at the colors, it's going to relate to this guide down here grayed out are going to be weekends and holidays. The next tab is going to be one of the ones that you care most about. The classes tab is going to have all of the current coursework for your child. So you're going to be able to click on it, see any assignments that have been put in, the date due, the date assigned if the teachers have put the date assigned, information about the assignment, whether it's major, minor, or daily, and then going to have a score how many points that assignment was possibly worth, and then up here it's going to show you what grade they currently have in the class as a percentage. Now, the blank here does not mean that your child has a zero, it just means that the grade has not yet been entered. Clicking on a link will give you a little more information about the assignment. Now you can change what report card run you want to look at, which classes you want to look at, um, and you can choose if you want it by date due or by class but then you need to hit refresh on the far right. And you can scroll down so again you just get a good view of your child and how they're doing in those classes. Now looking at the schedule tab at the top on classes is going to give you your child's schedule for the year. And it's going to give you all of their classes, what periods they have them, and also give you links to the different teachers email address. So if I'm hovering over Mr. or Coach Means here down at the bottom left, you'll see his email address. If I were to click on that, it would populate in my default mail browser. Clicking on grades at the top, this is going to be for report cards and for progress reports. Up at the top right, if you hover over your child's name, it's going to pop down a box that says my account. Clicking on my account is going to give you the opportunity to change your password and also change your challenge questions and answers that you set whenever you first logged into Hack. Please keep in mind that your child's Hack password is shared by your child and anybody else that needs that information in your household and do notify them of any password changes that you've made.